rich in cultural history, united in the diversity. A salute to my independent country, a salute to its modernity. Jai Ho to everyone. I am Arusha Virpakshara Tenava from SK Public CBSC School, Hukeri. First of all, give a big cheer because Independence Day is here. First of all, give a big cheer because Independence Day is here. Janani Janma Bhumishcha Swargadapi Gariyasi. Janani Janma Bhumishcha Swargadapi Gariyasi. The future of the nation is dependent and is bright only when it stays connected moment by moment with pride of its past experiences. And as we know that India has a rich cultural heritage and immense history to feel proud of. To witness this historical, cultural and national consciousness, our Prime Minister inaugurated the Azadika Amrit Mahotsav, dedicating it to the 75th anniversary of India's independence by flagging off the Padayatra from Sabhamati Ashram in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. This Azadika Amrut Mahotsav began 75 weeks before August 15, 2022. This Azadika Amrut Mahotsav is an intensive countrywide program that focuses on the citizens' participation and convert it into a Jan Andolan. Azadika Amrut Mahotsa is an elixir of inspiration from our freedom fighters. The elixir of freedom is the elixir of new ideas, the elixir of new resolutions, and the elixir of freedom is a festival that is the elixir of self-reliance. This Azadika Amrut Mahotsa will be celebrated as the Jan Utsav, in the spirit of Jan Bhagidari. The one who forgets history can never create history. The one who forgets history can never create history. The first war of India's independence. Gandhiji's return from abroad. Reminding the whole country the power of Satyagraha. Azad Hind Faust led by Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. To save this history, pride, every state in every field is making effort in this direction. India has already completed the restoration of the Dandi Yatra site. We must not forget the infamous memorials of Chalianwala Bhag massacre. Every citizen of India can never forget the call for Azad Hind Faust, the Heli Chalo. Quit India movement. Loka Manne Tilaks Purna Swaraj. We take inspiration from Mahatma Gandhiji, Nehruji, Ambedkar, Rani Lakshmi Bai, and many more. The awakening of Azadi movement. There were men, women, and youths from every corner of India who sacrificed innumerable austerities to liberate India. This continuously awakening of this flame in North, South, East, West, in every field, in every direction, in every state, was done by our saints, Mahans and Acharyas. In the way, the Bhakti movement has also prepared a backbone for India's national struggle. So it was the symbol of India's self-reliance when Gandhiji traveled to Dandi and broke the salt law. Here, salt plays the symbol of loyalty, which we even today say that we have eaten the salt of India, not just because salt is something very precious. When we look upon the British era, when millions of people were awakening for this independence, this makes the 75th year of India's independence even more significant. This Azadi Kamrut Mahotsav will give inspiration for all the citizens to keep moving forward with their dreams and duties along with India's freedom. India along with the country and its freedom struggle. It is the good fortune of all of us that we are witnessing this historic period where India 
is reaching its new heights of progress. Today, India has got its name written on the top line of the world. On this virtuous day, we pay tribute at the feet of all these great personalities who sacrificed their lives for the freedom struggle of India. The flag core of India 2002 was amended wide after on 30th of December 2021, which gave the allowance of national flag made of handmade, handwoven, or machine made. Our relationship with flag has always been formal and institutional, bringing flag collectively as a nation on this 75th year of India's independence does not only become symbolized of an act of personal to the Tiranga, but also an embodiment of sentiment for the nation building. As Swami Vivekananda stated that, once again, the whole world must be conquered by India. Once again, the whole world must be conquered by India, and that's the aim of my life. And when you hear me saying this, you should have the same goal in your mind. And you should stop, not stop, until you reach your goal. The idea behind this initiative is to evoke the feeling of patriotism in the hearts of Indians and spread awareness about a national flag. India is the cradle of human race, the birthplace of human speech, the mother of history, the grandmother of legends, and the great-grandmother of tradition. When we say India, we just not say a name of country, but a land which has the largest democracy in the whole world. Highly official languages being spoken, largest postal network, the land of world's first university, origin of Ayurveda, the land of Indian philosophy, which is Atithi Devo Bhava, which is Atithi Devo Bhava. My dear friends, I want to conclude by saying that there are 195 countries in this whole world. There are 195 countries in this whole world, but the heaven is witnessed only in our motherland. But the heaven is witnessed only in our motherland. One day, Madaram Jai Hind!